right, so let's get this tasty vegan meatloaf. Just try it. You gotta try it, okay? Promise me you'll try it. Or you try it and then you slice it up, you and your friends try it. But you gotta try it because it's really, really good. I wouldn't lie to you. All right, so here I have some really great Beyond Beef. I know you've seen it in the store, Beyond Meat. I know you've seen it in the store. It comes in like a block or they have crumbles or sausage or whatever. Well, this is good stuff. All right, so we're gonna put that in that bowl. Now, I like to add a little something, something, because this is just protein. There's no, you know, you have to doctor it up um, as far as flavor is concerned. But these little doohickeys right here, these are protein sausage, and this one is Italian seasoning. The thing about this sausage, though, this is not one of them fat red sausages from down south that you can cook with the casing on. Gotta take the casing off, okay? And it's easy. Where you go? Just cut the bottom and then just put a little slit right, not my finger, put a slit right here. And you take it off. Ta-da! Look at that. And then you break it up because you're gonna put it all together. I have not eaten meat in about, oh, I wanna say four, maybe five years. Um, it was a dare to someone and uh, she is of Muslim faith and uh, she, you know, honors Ramadan. Um, and she's also a mail carrier. And I would just find such joy in calling her at 12 in the afternoon as I ate a sandwich. And she was like, get off my phone. So I told her one year, I said, hey, you know what? When you honor Ramadan, I'm gonna stop eating meat. Yeah, right. So that's the story, how I stopped eating meat. Did you hear me say I was vegan? No, I did not. Cause baby, let me tell you about good cheese. Oh my God. <laughs> but I have found some amazing substitute. Wait till I give you the recipe <laughs> to my mac and cheese. Oh my, my, my. Y'all gonna love this life with me. I know you are. But like I said, you put your own in here, okay? Cause I'm not gonna fool you. Pork chop? <laughs> Ooh, that's my temptation. You know what gets me? Bacon. If I smell bacon cooking, I'll be like, I'm gonna backslide any minute, God. I'm just putting this all together, you know, so that it, you know, marries. Somebody gotta be married around here. Um, so I'm putting it all together. And this is a nice way to break it up. But y'all already know. You already know the only way to put this together. And I'm gonna do it. But this good stuff here gives me life. Just a. Now, they are not paying me yet, cause they will. <laughs> because this right here, put some, put some onions and peppers with this in the morning. We're gonna add that in there. And I wanna go ahead and marry that, okay? Gotta marry it. So right here, I have some good, you can't go wrong without, with soy sauce. I love soy sauce, okay? This is organic soy sauce. What does that mean? And then now, this is good old ketchup. Now, because I'm using ketchup, I'm not gonna use regular salt, because what's in ketchup? And what's, even though that's low sodium, um, soy sauce still got salt in it. Ain't nobody trying to have the high blood pressures. So we're gonna put that in there. Oh, guys. Oh, how I wish we had smell of vision But it's gonna get better. Oh, it's gonna get so much better. So now, we're gonna add some good breadcrumbs. Italian seasoning. This is gonna be some Italian um, meatloaf. How much should I call it meatloaf? Let me know a name that I should call this, because it's, it's not meatloaf, yeah? Fake loaf? How dare you? I have so many recipes that I'm gonna try with you, and we, I'm telling you, there's gonna be a lot going on on Prep to Live. And you know, I started Prep to Live because 
I used to be 308 pounds. Don't worry, you'll see pictures. But I used to be 308 pounds, and because of a previous health issue, I was told, you, you, you got to do better. And I put the doctors off for a few years, and finally it came down to I had to have gastric bypass. Um, so I had the gastric bypass, and anybody who has had weight loss surgery, whether it be gastric bypass, um, the sleeve, the, the you know, the whatever, the staple, whatever, you know it is not a quick fix. It's a great jump start, but it is not a quick fix. It is a push you in the right direction. Now, whether you keep going, that's up to you. But if you don't keep going, you're gonna stand still and you're gonna back backslide. I'm telling you, I've seen too many people start out thinking, oh, this is it, you know, and I can eat anything I want. And can't do it, people, you can't do it. A little mince of the garlic. Okay, a lot of mince garlic. Thank you, thank you. I love it, I love it. Um, so when I had the transplant, I mean, well, the, the gastric bypass, um, I said right then, okay, I gotta do this totally different. I had tried every diet under the sun to lose weight. But baby, this good metabolism was in Bora Bora, in a hut, on the water, for most of my life like this. That thing would not wake up, I couldn't get, oh, I had the worst metabolism. So I said, okay, I have to make some changes, some drastic, drastic, drastic changes. And that's what I decided to do. This right here, oh, it's called 21 Seasonings. I might as well tell you. Trader Joe's has it. They gonna pay me for that too, one day. But this is uh, just 21 Seasonings. How you gonna go wrong with 21 Seasonings? How you do that? I don't see how you can do that. So, I just put 22 in there. All right, so I have these babies. Now, I'm gonna tell the truth and shame the devil. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. Like, if I get, you know, when I was eating meat, maybe on top of the steak, I'd be like, ooh, steak. But the flavor. And then I found out when I stopped eating meat, this is hearty. Like this could go at a certain, like if you get a mushroom of a certain size, that's like a burger. I have made um, uh, mushroom Parmesan. Let me tell you, these are my friends because they just give a fullness, a meatiness to the food. That is it for the mushrooms. I think I have a good amount in there. And I'm gonna let you see. The smell is killing me. It's giving me life. All right, so we got that. I don't wanna stir it too much. Now you tell me what kind of recipe you can have without wheat. You can call them bell pepper. You can call them green pepper. But I would go with bell pepper because as you can see, they come in different colors. So we're gonna chop this bad boy right on up. And um, I usually like very, I like my stuff to stay very chunky. And I won't tell my fingers. Um, but I, in meatloaf, I like them to be a little small. Like my soups. Mm. I, mm. Speaking of which, we're gonna talk about vegetable soup. It is that season, people. It's cold outside. I don't know where you live. But I remember when I went to college, North Carolina Central University, Durham, North Carolina, we are the Eagles. No ordinary barnyard fowl. Um, when I went to North Carolina Central University, um, I didn't need a coat. Took one, bought it right home. Like, I don't need this, because it's hot in North Carolina. <laughs> Try that now. It's not going to happen. So what I want to do is make sure, you know, I want it to be small, just like everything else. That's one thing about cooking. 
that I found out you gotta try to keep things somewhat uniform. If it's gonna be chunky, everybody gotta be chunky. That's up to you, that's how I feel. And if it's going to be small, then you want you know stuff uniform. I don't wanna bypass the green peppers and just hit a big old onion, a whole onion, you know? Now, because I don't eat meat, I try to make things hearty as possible. Because if not, I might backslide. So, you know what this is, right? What is that, good children? Kale! We all love kale. And yes, I put kale in my food. I put, you, wait and see, I just. Now usually, I make sure that I um, save the stems. I do something with the stems. Because I think, my philosophy is, if God grew it like this, there's use for this whole entire thing. But not in my meat. So the stems have got to go. Got to go. Stems got to go. I am totally convinced we get this life one time. There are no do-overs. You might get a second chance, but there's no do-overs. And I know you're like, well, what that mean? I'll tell you about it, don't worry. We did it. So you know, any of you have ever cut greens, you know you got all put them together, and then roll them, roll them, roll them. How many of you have like sets of knives in storage? Yeah, uh-huh. How about you take them out? Because that's what I did and found these amazing knives that I had in storage. I'm like, hmm. So you know what I did? Yes, I got rid of my old knives. Well, I need two sets of knives. Mm -mm. I got a whole drawer of knives. I don't need two sets of these type of knives. So, I found out that's a great way to be. Um, if I go somewhere and I see a pair of shoes that I really, really like, I'll get them. But then, when I get home, I gotta give up two pair to bless somebody. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's four beautiful leaves. Yay. All right, so, enough with all the shenanigans. We're gonna mix this up. And we're gonna make us a loaf. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the color. Are we all ready? All right, listen. It is time to make the loaf. Yes. First of all, I'm gonna put a little story about this. This old school right here. You don't know nothing about this. A little baby roasty baby put it in tiny little put it, put it, put it. Baby cute. This is what happens when you plumage through your mother's stuff. This is, look at, honey, that's how you're supposed to keep your things. And this is old, old. I'm not old, but this is old. But I'm just making a small loaf, and out of this, I can make two loaves. So let me tell you something good about protein. You can freeze it. Yes, you can. You know, properly wrap it and everything. And Lord knows it is so good. Mm. I don't mean for two, three years. I'm just saying. All right. She is, she ready. <laughs> People, look at the goodness. You see the goodness? I see the goodness. I see the peppers and the kale and the onions. Oh Lord, I smell it. Mm. So now, we're gonna put this in the oven at, of course, 350. Everybody's like, why is everything cooked at 350? Because it's a good temperature. So we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes, all right? And she should be good by then. So, I know you're like, oh, that's got vegetables and stuff in it, but hey, you want something on the side. So, we're gonna come back and do some roasted vegetables to go with that gravy. Well, hello there. So listen. We, I don't, mm, I want you to get the smell vision. Cause babies, it's smelling like heaven in here. That vegan meatloaf is almost done. In the meantime, we're gonna make some um, mixed vegetables, roasted vegetables. 
Um, the, this recipe here, you can, like I'm making enough so that you can prep to lid. So you can put it in small containers, you can put it in Ziplocs, whatever you want to do. Instead of you reaching for the chips or reaching for, you know, something like, uh, and I love me some pizza. But instead of, you want just something to snack on, take them out, throw them in the microwave and just eat them. They are so hearty and it's so good and it's good for you. So, <laughs> these gorgeous sweet potatoes. Honey, 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 put them in. Put them in, just put them in. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous carrots. Those colors say fall, right? Beautiful. So yes, some of them, as I told you, you like to keep things like, you know, symmetry with cutting. Some of them are bigger than others. This one don't need to go away. So, look at that, it's purple. But anyway, in the case of these, it, it's okay. It's okay. I wouldn't lie to you. This is a medley of heaven right here. This is green, red, yellow, and orange peppers. How can you go wrong? Okay? And it's very easy. Look, they're all lined up. And you just pray that you get through all without taking your fingers off. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Howdy. Because yes, all of this is edible. Stop thinking, oh, I gotta throw that away. No, you don't. Uh, you know the nutrients in that? And I'm gonna hold on to these. Watch me. Okay, the next vegetable that people be like, oh, wait. <laughs> you can call it squash, you can call it zucchini. But they come in a variety of colors. Green and yellow. So I'm just cutting the whole entire vegetable in half and then I'm just cutting it. How many of you cooked uh, in the kitchen with your mom or your dad, uh, grandma, and you know, you were in the kitchen, but you weren't in the kitchen. Now you wish you was in the kitchen, see? But uh, I had uh, two very different grandmothers. I had two very different grandmothers. I had Pearl, I had a few grandmothers. I had Pearl. I had Leela Bell and I had Maruf, but her name is Ruth. Um, and then I had Aunt Lily, who was the ultimate bread maker. Um, so I had a lot of cooks in my family. My grandma Pearl, she could hook up a mean steak, but there wasn't a whole lot else you would want to eat because she dipped snuff. <laughs> it's tricky when you get a snuff dip, a snuff dip, dipping cook. I can't say that fast. And then there was Leela Bell. Grandma. Oh, cook, cook, cook. And Mother Ruth. Mother Ruth and my mom were like kind of alike. Like they like to feed a lot of people. Like feed, you know, people who are less fortunate. Kind of like maze play. Um, we don't call people homeless because if you have a beating heart, you got a home. So they're in between homes and those who are less fortunate. And that's what they used to do, just make these big old pots of stuff. And I'm like, where are we going? They gotta go down the get, you know, the, the um train, I mean bus station and feed the people. Well, I'm doing that now. Ain't that nothing? Okay, this is the other one. People see these and they be like, oh, you know, look at the time. I gotta go. No, you don't. I'm gonna say this. If you eat cabbage, these the babies. Just cut her in half. Just cut them in half. I'm gonna cut these in half. You wanna see what it looks like on the inside? Look at that. Just like a daggone cabbage, y'all. That's all she is. You can hear the freshness. You cut something in it. You hear? So now, yeah, this. Week. We cook our food until every nutrient 
has packed its bags and walked out the door. And then we just eat and be eaten. You don't want to kill your vegetables. You want to be able to have a thing of vegetables, pick one out and eat it if you want to. But you want that to be the same sound you hear when you cook it otherwise. Mm. Now, me, myself, and I don't like olive oil. Now you're like, how do you eat healthy now? I like olive oil, but I like mine. Sometimes to me, the taste of olive oil overtakes what I'm eating because I have really sensitive taste buds. So I like this one. They also have one called Robust, which I like. But today we're gonna use the Mild. And this is my favorite. Um, Pompeon is going to pay me for this. I guarantee you, because I love it. So we're gonna put this oil on here. This just looks like goodness. Now, I have a garden, and I love garden stuff. So I have dried some of my herbs. This right here I'm gonna go easy on because it's spicy oregano. But as you can see, it is fresh. And all I'm gonna do is take it Did you see that? I don't think you saw it. This is time. So I'm gonna take a little, not a whole lot of time. Not a whole lot of time. Just a little bit of time. And then there's trusty Eliza. I don't have to do that with this because, as you can see, it is already powdered. And you can't get too much of a zip. Seasoning's coming to you soon. Then there's nothing like, I, I think every time I eat, I use crushed uh, black pepper. I love it. The taste is like none. You gotta be careful what you wear. Ooh, aren't they pretty? Y'all gotta hit, hit up uh, Nikki Curtsy. These are her. She made them except for the red and white ones. My mommy made that one. But the other ones, oh my gosh, she's amazing. And of course, just a little, not a whole lot. Come on, somebody, for the Merlet. The Merlet. Listen, this is a side dish. This is by itself dish. This is, oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. That thing is right. So let us put it in the paint. This we're going to cook. Four. I'll say about 35 minutes, 40 minutes, okay? Because remember, we ain't trying to kill it. We just trying to cook it. There's a big difference. All right, guys. I will show you the finished product as soon as it's out. But right now, I'm gonna taste a piece of this meat. Hey. All right, you know we are prepping to live and it is time to plate up the ham mercy that we have made. That vegan meatloaf and those mixed vegetables, I'm going to bring them to the stage because the performance is done, all right? But first, I wanted to show you something. Every now and then, you know, I have some, a blast from the past. Well, in the fourth grade, I took something that nobody knows about now and it's called shop. You know, females took home ec, guys took shop, and then sometimes we switch. Well, I was rather the expertise in shop class. 
This is from elementary school shop class, y'all. I made this. Listen, when your mama keeps everything, sometimes it drives you crazy, but sometimes it's a good thing. Look at my cutting board. Fancy. Got a little hook to it. But today, it's going to hold this hot pan of amazing mixed vegetables, all right? Look at this here. Guys, all I did was cut up some vegetables, rub some herbs on this. I put um, some wine. I put some, a little bit of oil, pepper. That's it. A little salt. That's it. This is it. This is, I know what's going in my body. It is great stuff. I mean, we got sweet potatoes, yellow squash, green squash, asparagus, these gorgeous pearl onions, red onions, the whole onion. Um, what else do we have? A medley of carrots, all different colors. A medley. Mm. Um, yeah, so the uh, Brussels sprouts. I told you, you gotta try them. Guys, they are amazing in here. This is healthy. You know what's going in your body. So remember, we made vegan. Uh, I'm, I've got to figure out another name. Other loaf. First of all, I don't know. So who made up the word loaf? What is that? Loaf. If you want to better your health, shed some pounds. Start eating off this. Put your food on it and make sure that first joint in your finger, that you have that much clearance all the way around. And eat your food in the middle. And that is it, good people. You don't need a platter of food. I take a spoon of this, maybe a spoon and a half, because I can do that. Talk to me. Talk to me. Let me tell you what life is all about. Now, if I dive into this part right here, we gonna have, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to walk out. You're like, well, why did you make this big old pan if you're only going to eat one half serving? Why? Well, because what's the name of this good show? Prep to live. I made this much so I can freeze it if I want to. I can put a couple of packs in the refrigerator so they are ready to go. Instead of just keeping this whole thing in the refrigerator, I'm gonna set it on the wall. Yep, plastic bag. Wait a minute. Bam. What in the world is that? Look like something in the dentist's office. No. I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. Cause you know how you struggle when you gotta put something in the bag. So the, the height it is right now, there's some bags scrunched up down there, right? So that you don't mess around and make a mistake in your eating when you don't have to. And you can even get smaller bags in this. You want a whole serving? Put a whole serving in the bag, people. Put a whole, mmm! My, my, my. Guess what that's called? That is called a meal. Label your bag. Take the air out. Ta-di, ta-da. That's the sound. Boom. So in here, I have another two serving. That's three, that's four, that's all together. That is four meals in one pan. Four side dishes in one pan. Oh, I'm on the go all the time. Where's your excuse? Here it is. Okay? So listen, I told you, I'm gonna take care of you prep the lid. And this is what we do. We make things that are practical, make things that make sense. Um, gadgets. If you don't like, have any, 
They're the best thing in the world. I love them. I absolutely love them. So this is our vegan uh, meatloaf. I'm gonna figure out another name for that. And our beautiful mixed vegetable medley. And this is how we do it. Because remember, if you are not in your kitchen, you're not cooking. Prep some live. Let's pray.